Hi everyone and welcome to Esther's Place. Today I want to show you how to make a chalky lime paint. This paint is fantastic. It gives a beautiful, beautiful chalky softness. I just use a white base and then I tint it up to whatever color I want. It goes on just about any surface and it is such an amazing product to work with. Right, into here, big container. There is a little bit of, of matte paint down there, but that's okay. First of all, you need to get three tablespoons well that's what I've worked out over the years. Three tablespoons of Plaster of Paris and can I go left to right and tell you why it's called Plaster of Paris? In the 17th century there were fires all through London so the King of France said all houses in Paris are going to be are going to be plastered, thus the name Plaster of Paris. There's a bit more to that story, but I thought that was quite a good story and I thought I should share with you. Right, into there I'm going to put one tablespoon of warm water and give that a really good uh, stir up to get rid of any lumps because we don't want a lumpy paint, do we? No, we do not. So make sure that that's all thoroughly, thoroughly dissolved. And then into here, 250 mils of, I like to use a flat or a matte paint. So it's about a cup and there's a cup in there, that's 250 mils. Pour that into there like that. And as I said, I use the white and then I tint it up to the color that I want as I go. Right, give that a, get rid of all of that in there because we waste not, want not. And then give that another stir and then put the plaster of Paris into it. Now it has got little lumpy bits in there, but don't worry because we'll give that another little stir in a moment. Right, stir that up. Now this has, what I've discovered with this paint is that it will last probably two to three days. As I said, it's also very, very quick drying, but from that, it is the most amazing paint. You can get all sorts of the, your shabby chic or vintage or sort of like a bit roughed up and something that looks like it's come from France or from Italy. So there it is, there's your base recipe. From there you can do anything. In a couple of weeks time I'll come back to this and I'll show you all the great things you can do with my lime chalky paint. It's fabulous stuff. See you another day.